So we're here at the Mobile World Congress at Qualcomm. So what are you showing? So we're excited to show a lot of different things about Snapdragon. We have Snapdragon 200, 400, 600, and 800. So from entry level all the way up to high tier. So around here you have some products? We're excited about some devices that we have. We have over 770 devices in the market today, from smartphones to tablets, from Android to Windows Phone and Windows RT, as well as some new BlackBerry devices. There are a couple new phones and tablets announced here specifically at the show. So we're excited about the ASUS PadPhone Infinity. We're also excited about the LG Optimus G Pro for Korea. And then, the, of course, the HTC One, which is a global phone. So all those Snapdragon 600. So a lot of new devices coming out on Snapdragon 600. So then the new thing as we're looking at forward is Snapdragon 800 and have a lot of new Snapdragon 800 demonstrations here. You'll see devices second half of this year. So really excited about Snapdragon 800. So here in the theater, for example, uh, you show 4K? Yes, Ultra HD, as well as 7.1 audio. So a really home theater experience. And think about having your smartphone or tablet be able to provide that great experience. You know, home theater in your pocket. And what are these demos over there? We're also showing off the internet of everything and how Qualcomm is enabling technologies from smartphones and tablets to be able to do everything in your home. Right, and uh, so all around there you also have some uh, 800 series demos, right? We have quite a few new demonstrations here from camera. On the other side, actually, we have a brand new 4K encode. So be able to encode, be able to do video capture as well as playback on your devices. So that will have to check. So what is Battery Guru? You know, I'm not as familiar. This is new. I think it's available on a few devices. We're really excited about continuing to help with battery life. We're doing video, audio, and camera, showing off all the great things you can do on Snapdragon 800. So camera, more multimedia over here. Here we've got lots of games. We're really excited about Snapdragon 800 working on, you know, many, many games. We have a really good depth and breadth with gaming and have multiple titles working. So when the, when the phones come out, tablets later this year on Snapdragon 800, you'll have lots of games that you'll be able to play. This looks insane. Adreno 320, right? 330. 330. 330. So what's the difference between 320 and 330? It's about a 50% improvement. 50% improvement like for graphics and more than yeah. twice for computer. 50% right. improvement. 50% improvement, yes. Nice. From, the, from a graphics processor perspective. Okay. We're actually really excited about the CPU in Snapdragon 800. And as we announced at CES, we support up to 2.3 gigahertz. So here we're actually showing the value of the four different cores running up to 2.0. So think of video editing and how today in a PC you have a difficulty editing. Now with Snapdragon 800, you can do quite a bit of video editing and leverage all that powerful CPU we have. Can we check the 4K encode? Sure, of course. So here we are. This gentleman here is actually capturing real time this woman dancing flamenco for us. It's recording 4K video already? It's recording 4K video. And on you the can, phone. You can see it, the preview on the left-hand side on this 4K screen. Okay, on the phone. So you can do your own personal videos at 4K, Ultra HD. This is happening this year. <laughs> People are going to have 4K cameras in their smartphones. Yep. Got your camcorder in your pocket. Is it 30 frames per second? 60 frames Supports per second? Supports up to 30 frames per second.
that's that's awesome. Anybody can talk about the bitrate of the 4K video or? Uh, I, 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 the, off the top of my yeah. head, I don't know what the numbers are. Was it some more demos you want to show maybe over there? Um, there's a few others, sure. I. Um, I think we should can show some LTE over here. I don't know if you saw at CES. We were doing, you know, Snapdragon 800 supports integrated LTE Cat 4, so up to 150 megabits per second. So excited about that. So think about we saw 4K encoded capture and playback, and think of as you want to send it, you'll be able to send it. We also support 11AC, and I believe there is an 11AC demo here. Yes. So these are a lot of different LTE related demonstrations. This is um, broadcast. Broadcast? Right now they're on broadcast. Multi camera stuff? No, it's AMBS. All right. So okay. So just and then when a, when a certain threshold is reached. So this is Mobile World Congress. So great show to really show off all the wireless technologies that Qualcomm's delivering, not just with Snapdragon, but a lot over here is also showing off our Gobi technology. So we're excited about how you know you need you want Snapdragon in your app processor in your phone and does all that, and you also, there are times where Gobi really makes sense for other applications. So the 600 is launching in three products right now, and how soon can we see the 800? The 800 is later this year. Later this year. And the 4K is only on the 800? Yes. Is, so the 600 is still 1080p? Correct. All right.